For this week's Tablet Tube Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to build this type of chart that you see on the screen now. I posted this for Workout Wednesday last week and for Makeover Monday the week before. Robert Crocker found it really interesting that you could use measure names on the path shelf. And then Dan Cox followed up and was wondering if there was any kind of tutorial for this. So that's what I'm going to show you this week. I'm not exactly what, short, what type of chart this is. Um, I've asked Andy Cockgrave and I've asked a few other people. The best answer I heard was from Eva, and she said it looks like a, some, some type of music rhythm chart or something like that, but it doesn't really have a chart name. But I'll show you how to build it anyway. So I'm going to start by just connecting to Superstore Sales. And the first thing I'm going to do is let's say we want to look at, uh, we want to look at regions by month. And for each, oops, for each region, we want to compare, we want to basically have the top and bottom as, let's start without region actually. So the first thing I want to do is let's look at profit and let's make it a bar. Okay, so we get something like that. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, right? So what I really want to compare is the 25th and 75th percentiles for each month. So I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call this 25th percentile. And for this, I'm going to use the percentile function. I tell what measure to use, profit, and then what, um, what uh, number. So that's 25%. Hit OK. And then I'm going to duplicate that for my 75th percentile. And just simply change the end of it to 0.75. OK, great. And now I could actually calculate the difference between them as well. So I'll just call this the variance. And it's going to be the sum of my 75th percentile minus the sum of my 25th percentile. Okay, oh, but these are already aggregated, so I messed that up there. So it should just be sum of 75th minus the sum of the 25th. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the 75th percentile and replace profit with that. I'm going to take the 25th percentile and put it on top of the 75th percentile axis. And that'll give me a combined axis. In the rows, you're going to see my measure is going to switch from 75th percentile to measure values. And measure names is going to appear on the color shelf. Great. So now basically what I want to do is I want to connect this dot for the 75th percentile to this dot for the 25th percentile. Okay. If I just simply move measure names to, to the path shelf, you'll see I get this really funky view. I'm not exactly sure what Tableau is doing here. It looks like it's, it's drawing it by value going from top to bottom. That's not quite what I want. What I actually need to do is I need to take my month field and I now need to make this discrete. And suddenly I've got the chart I'm looking for. From there I'm going to take my variance and stick that on the size shelf. And I'm kind of double encoding there so the, so the, the width of the, uh, the bar or the line here is the same thing as the length. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to entire view. And I'm going to make sure that here I include show missing values in case there's any months. I think I missed it. In case there's any months that don't have any data. From there, so basically that's, that's essentially how you do it. You have to make sure that your date field is, is discrete. And then you just move measure names to the path shelf. You leave your mark type as a line. So what Tableau is doing now is it's actually playing a game of connect the dots. So measure names, it's t it, we're telling Tableau, connect the, uh, the dots by the names of the measures. Well, the names of my measures are 25th and 75th percentile. So it's just drawing those. Very, very simple. OK, so from there, I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And uh, let's see, what else could we do here? So the next thing that I want to do is I want to break this up by region. So I'm going to put region on the row shelf. And then maybe I want to color code it by region. And I get something like that. Now, what I could do is I could create another one for my 50th percentile. So let's try that. Let's duplicate this. Let's call this one our 50th. Oops. Let's call this one our 50th percentile, which is really the median. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now, just for consistency. I'm going to put that on the, uh, on the shelf as well. But here, I don't want it. I want to actually, sorry, I want to make it dual axis. So let me, oops. Let me, oops, let me go back. Sorry about that. Let's make this dual axis. Ah, missing my clicks today. Dual axis, and let's synchronize. Okay. Oh, I did, thought I chose synchronize. There we go. 
Okay, so now what I want to do on this shelf, on my 50th percentile shelf, is I want to take, uh, I can leave region on the color, I guess. Let's see what it does. I want to take uh, the variance off of the size. And this time what I want to do is I want to go ahead and let's take region off the color. And then let's just move the, mark, the measure names to detail. So now you can see I'm getting a line through the 50th percentile. If I want to move that to the front, I just right click on the axis and choose move marks to front. And then maybe I want to make it black and show the dots on it. Perhaps we want to make it a bit thinner as well. Okay, so from here what I would do is I would go ahead and go ahead and hide the labels there. And let's go ahead and do the same here. All right, so now on this shelf, I'm going to go ahead and untick show header. And now we have that same type of chart that I built over here in this particular view. All right, so uh, you can see that my median is kind of, uh, you know, or I'm sorry, my 50th percentile is uh, in the middle of these bars roughly, uh, but it kind of helps you show the distribution. So this shows, this tells you if the median, for example, right here in the east, if this point here, if I zoom in on that, you can see that um, the, um, the 50th percentile, let's see if I can hover over that 50th percentile, ah, there it goes, is 7.7. .7. The minimum, or the 25th percentile, is at, is at uh, minus 57, and the 75th percentile is at, four, is at 374. So that just shows you that most of the values are below the median. Okay, so let me scroll back out there. All right, and so from here, the last thing I would probably do is maybe format my months here. So if I would, uh, actually, we probably could even just untick the show header, and uh, I would go ahead and hide the region label, or hide, yeah, we don't need the, and actually, let's even save a bit more space by rotating the region label. And there we go. So now we have a nice view, very simple, and it shows you the uh, difference between the 25th and 75th percentile of profit with the 50th percentile as a line. So I hope you found that helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.